What's Gucci gang? What's popping? Gang? What's popping? YouTube? What's good? What's good guys? What's happening? Just thought I'd get on here and just talk to y'all. Talk to y'all ninjas. Talk to my ninjas right quick, you know. Actually, you know it. You know what it is. You know what it is. Wait, I'm gonna get money. <laughs> you know what time it is. It's workout time. No coffee right here. Yeah, should not jump off. You know what I'm saying? Wait, hold up. Let me stretch. That's spicy. But you can sing it, bro. Um, no, they can't copyright you for singing it. Copyright this song, bro. That's spicy. Don't ever call me weak. Because I'm the man. Hey. You know what time it is? Yikes. My collarbone be hurting when I be doing it. Dogs are so loud. Ooh, I just broke a sweat. Hey. Hey, should I dye my hair all the way blonde? You think so, Moody? All the way blonde? Or should I stop forcing it and just keep it like this? A little more blonde. Cause I'd just be going too much. Or I could uh, just get my tattoos and stuff and slim down a little bit and see what, see what happens there. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? Who knows what I'm really gonna do? Hmm. Hey guys, if you haven't checked out the video I just dropped, Please go check it out. Cause that junk was actually funny as heck. If you watch all the way through it, and like some of the plays I made, yikes. Great, phenomenal. Best plays of my life. Yeah, like, seriously. But yeah, me, I just went to the mall and it was dead. Dead as ever, but it closed in like uh, an hour. It closes at 9, and we went there at like 8.15, so, you know, no excuses. You know, I got the Rachis on. Got the skinny jeans on. With the hole. Got my new KB hoodie. It says, his glory alone, nothing else. You know, and on the back, I can't even show you the back. But guys, uh, if I didn't tell you, if you guys didn't tune into my live this one day, um, I think it was like two, three days ago, but I went to a concert. It was called Winter Jam. And uh, it was like a huge, pretty much a huge Christian conference. Uh, there was like 13,000 people there. And um, there was, I only knew a couple artists. You guys might know them, but I only knew uh, KB, the Christian rapper, and then uh, this dude named Skillet. It's like a super hardcore, uh, super hardcore, like, singers. Or, you know, whatever they call their stuff. Hardcore metal or something. But, uh, their name's Skillet, and they just, like, like, I wasn't expecting it, because my friend, me, or, not me, but Dalton, my friend Dalton, and then my brother Jacob were saying, like, oh, they're, like, super good, but, you know, you might want to plug your ears, because they're about to get loud. And I go, mm, okay, I mean, it can't be that loud. Bro, I was standing there and they go, Welcome, Skillet! And I go, okay, everybody's going nuts. And I'm just like, they must be the stuff. And it's the last band, so you know they have to be good. And they come in and just like, huge bangs. And I'm like, oh shoot, and then flames coming out. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. And like, they literally were that, 
that loud the whole entire five songs, six songs that they sung. And I was like, bruh, I need to get out of here. But it was actually really good, and everybody knew the songs except me. And everybody was going in, though. Everybody was like, like, there was these two people. I wish I would have brought my camera, but I didn't think I could bring it inside. But, you know, because they had, like, a sign that said, keep all cameras. Like, it, they, I don't know what the sign said, but it said something about cameras. And I was like, okay, I probably shouldn't bring it in. But, uh, where I was sitting, I was kind of sitting at the top, and then they were sitting, these people were sitting at the lower level. And they were literally, they knew every single word, they knew every single strum that when he strummed it, they strummed their, uh, electric guitar. And they were just going in like hardcore, and they were like banging their head like this. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're going to need some ibuprofen after this. But the other thing that I noticed was like, okay, so reality hit me at the uh, Winter Jam concert. And I was like, dang, that's crazy. So I was thinking like, hey, you know, if I had a meet and greet, who would all show up for one? I don't know who would show up. And then for two... If I had a meet and greet and all, every single person that was subscribed to me showed up at the, uh, you know, right in front of me. And I was like, bro, that would be tight. So what hit me was like, was like, um, there was 13,000 people in this concert, right? And it filled a whole stadium. If you guys are from Fort Wayne, it filled the whole Coliseum up. The whole thing. Every seat was taken. So I was like, dang. So that's 13,000 people. So a few times at that by 10, that's how many subscribers I have. And I was like, bro, if they all stood in front of me, I don't even know if I would be able to talk in front of like, you know how many subscribers that is? Like, and I only have like 127,500 or something. And I'm thinking like, bro. So I'm like thinking about, okay, Chris. Chris got like two point something million. Imagine if two point million stood in front of you. Let's imagine that right now. That's a lot of people. So I'm just thinking like 130,000 people. That's a lot. Like 100 people standing standing right in front of me. That's a lot of people to me. But 130,000, 2 million? Bro, that is a lot of freaking people. And yeah, that's what I was just thinking about in Winter Jam. I was just like... Bro, what happens if I was on the stage, like, doing something, and everybody was like, cheer my name, Josh is live, Josh is live, and I, I wouldn't know, what to, I'd just be like, hey, what's good, my ninja's like, what's up, what's poppin', like, how y'all, you know, I wouldn't, what would, I don't know what I would say, except for, you know, what's good, guys, how you doing, like, what's going on in your life today, like, what, I couldn't just come up in the spot and just you know make you laugh because I'm not I'm not really that type of person like if you hang around me I can make you laugh just off daily talking and what what just happens you know wherever we're at and I'll just play off that but like I, I'm not like a comedian comedian make you laugh I'm just like on the spot make you laugh but yeah that's what that's what really was going through my head because like there was a comedian there too that's what was making me think like but could i could i try and be a comedian i was like nah no way this dude's just too funny like this man is just going in like i like i mean of course they have time to play it out you know memorize some jokes when you're up there but that junk would be hard that's why i was mu that's why i wish i was musically talented because if i could just spit some lyrics out to you guys and just go in singing beautiful singing that would be lit and that would be easy you know i would have something to do on stage not just talk to you guys you know what i'm saying but hey i wish one day i could just meet all every single one of my fans like no matter where you are just like go to australia if i have australian fans go to sweden if i have sweden fans you know that would be freaking lit dude <laughs> like meet and greets everywhere but yeah, I don't, let me guys, let, let me guys know. Let me know guys if I should have a uh, meet and greet in Fort Wayne. And who would show up? Because I can't just be like, hey, having a meet and greet. And 20 people show up, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. You know, I need, I need at least a hondo. Hondo son. But I don't, I, you know, I don't even know how many people rock with me like that. You know what I'm saying? But, um, 
hey, who knows, you know what I'm saying? But, shoot, I just want to talk to you guys real quick, you know. It's just a simple, hey, what's up? <coughs> what y'all doing? You know, freaking, if you guys... I just wanted to share some stories with y'all, too, because I just thought that was a cool experience. I had a I had cool little uh, mind burst, bubble burst, or whatever. Let's call it thoughts. But, in opinions. But, hey, love you guys so much. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out to my family. Gang!